Hello, Georgia551 here. And as we all know, the elevator community is growing. And when it's growing, people have a harder time getting viewership. Back in the days when there's the Diesel Deucies, the Music Freak CCs, and people like Sussex, I Hate Escalators, there were only a dozen or so people. So when people wanted to watch a video of an elevator, there were a very limited number of people, so these people get views. Some of them more than a hundred a day. And then there's people like me that are in the middle that might be lucky to get 50 in a day, and that's kind of stretching it. But I want to concentrate on some good elevator videographers that need the love. These people are very good. They don't video response, which is primarily what hurts them. And I'm going to go over the three that I believe truly deserve the love because they're really good, but they're stuck in obscurity. Please note that these are honestly my choices. It's not because whether or not we're friends or not. It's simply due to content. Please note that this is being done under the fair use law, meaning that this is considered an educational or newsworthy type video. So the use of their content is protected by copyright law via fair use. So that being said, let's check out our first person. Here's a guy that's actually very good at elevator videos, but just doesn't seem to branch out too much. And that's Balleric. As you can see, he doesn't do microsecond cab views, nice steady camera, concentrates very well on one spot, does not rush things, and he does not refuse people the right to use an elevator. The only flaws that are in his videos are, one, his camera, it tends to be very poor in the dark, and the second thing is, and I've given him a command to fix this problem, is that his videos appear narrow when in fact they are widescreen. So hopefully he'll be using that command from now on, and maybe he might, over time, use them to fix his current video set. On top of elevators, camera's going to move a little bit because I'm using my other hand, he also does transportation videos as well. Most notable are the bus routes along his Amherst neighborhoods or out in Western Mass, pardon me there. So here's a guy that definitely deserves a lot of love. Feel free to subscribe course. Now let's go concentrate on another person that could use the love. And please note we're going in alphabetical order. Next up, another guy that could use a lot more love than he's getting, Jamie Treadwell. Again, here's another guy that has very good video quality content. And as you can see, again, he's not fumbling the camera, he's not doing quick jerky microscope, microsecond cab views, pardon me again. I'm not letting little fumbles ruin a video. And he takes time. He also does not refuse people the right to ride elevators. He uses very good cameras. He, on his older videos, have used the flip minnow as well as I think he also has used the iPod touch a few times he now uses his brand new current camera the Sony TX9 which well you know if you've seen videos from a TX9 they suffer from the dreaded fisheye disease which when doing smaller elevators can actually be a benefit I can't really say that there's a downside to his videos, really. I mean, he 
brightness is fairly well, it keeps them up. Well, the, actually the only downside is that, and it's not even a big thing, is that he tends to uh, mimic a particular elevator enthusiast quite a bit, which doesn't bother me in the least bit. But sometimes a little bit of, a little bit overdone, no big deal. I would have unsubscribed if it was a big deal. Anyway, one thing that he does, which he doesn't do very well, in terms of mimicking me, for example, and it's not his fault, is he tries to do the EPIC fail to the Price is Right lose queue. Now keep in mind that the Australian version of the Price is Right, yes, this guy's from Australia, does not have the same lose queue that the American and English versions of the show has. So, yeah, he hasn't quite picked up on the quote-unquote proper musical notes to use. This is a very good elevator videographer, and on top of that, he also does transportation videos. in which normally he'll ride a train or a bus and record a trip or two. Now the only fly I see here, and it's a very common one, is that he doesn't grab the frontmost seat, which might have been possibly might have been possibly taken. Perhaps he doesn't want to scare people having a camera out the window. However, where he sits is not a bad position in actuality because you do get to see where you're going and you get to see things along the sides. So this guy does do very good videos in the transportation sector. Alrighty. This is another guy to put on your uh, subscription list. And now I got one more person. Last but not least, one who can also use the love, Nexpar. Welcome to May 26th of 2011. It's the post-apocalyptic times. And guess what? We're going to ride some elevators. <laughs> As you can tell, Nexpar has a lot of fun recording elevator videos. Very bright and cheery is his attitude while recording these. That's what makes his videos a lot of fun. I am surprised he doesn't get the love that he truly deserves from the community. Hopefully this video is bringing the love to him. Now the only flaws in his video simply just one thing, and that's his camera. It's old, the audio is kind of muffled, and it tends to be very dark. He realizes this, though, because when he gets into a dark scene, he'll, he'll put his videos through an editor, and he'll brighten them up for you. So one thing he really does need, definitely, is to get a new camera. Also note that on occasion he will also post rants on his website. You might not agree with his rants. In most cases, I personally do. Well, here we are. And another end of the world day. It's May 21st. And that's what he actually sounds like if he had a good camera on this last day of planet Earth. Sometimes, though, he can be kind of hard to listen to. And I'll be back at Walmart doing my work and I'm like, baby, 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 oh, I'm like... Baby, <laughs> but again, he's having a lot of fun. Baby, this is why no! you should definitely, baby, if the camera wants to focus, Subscribe to Nextpar. 
And those are the three elevator videographers that I believe deserve a lot more love than they're getting. Please feel free to mirror or copy this video onto your channel if you like. You don't have to. Now, to be honest and fair, I'll point out my flaws. For one, as you're probably seeing right now, the video is shaking. I have no control over that. It's a trait handed down to me called essential tremors. Second thing is that I tend to do jerky or too quick of cab views, obviously. Another thing people get annoyed with is that I use the English pronunciation of Tyson Krupp. I don't use the German, aka most accepted pronunciation, because my big fat tongue will stick to the top of my mouth and it turns out into a, a dirty word instead of an elevator company. You've heard me use it before, but that's because it's a small audio clip or a small video clip I could just edit versus a full-blown elevator video that would be a pain in the ass to redo. Also, and this is more of a YouTube thing, people hate it when I exercise the thumbs down for people that purposely press the alarm or the phone or deny people the right to use an elevator. You, sorry, that's just the way it's going to be. So, feel free to add more. Feel free to copy this video or mirror it. Normally I don't ask people to do that, but it's not about me. It's about these three people. Subscribe to them. Comment, rate to them. And those are the three that I believe deserve the most attention as of now. Hope you enjoyed.